Hi, it's Emma. Today I'm going to talk about SQL interview. I know there are lots of resources on this topic and most of them dive directly into SQL questions and answers. While those are definitely helpful for your preparation, there are a few important things you want to pay attention to in order to ace the interview. For example, without knowing how you will be evaluated, you might fail the interview even if you think you provided the right answer. In this video, I will cover everything you need to know to ace the SQL interview. Here is an overview of this video. We will start with answering the question, why SQL? Then I will show you when and what will be asked in a SQL interview, the evaluation criteria and how to prepare for it efficiently. Finally, I will share some important tips to ace the interview. I've interviewed at both startup and big companies. Every data science interview I've been part of has involved SQL in some way. I can almost guarantee you will have to write some SQL at some point in your job search. So why SQL is important? First, SQL is a practical skill that you will use frequently in your day-to-day -day job as a data scientist. No matter whether you work at a small company or a big company, SQL is one of the tools you will use consistently as a data scientist. Specifically, it can be used to do data analysis, diagnose issues, and gather insights from data. Second, SQL skill is transferable. If you are familiar with it, it's easy for you to learn Apache Hive and Presto because they have very similar syntax to SQL. So when are SQL questions asked in a data science interview? You will expect SQL questions in more than one stage of the interview loop, including SQL challenge, the technical phone screen, and on-site interview. The typical length is 45 minutes to one hour. To put it into perspective, here's a diagram showing a data science interview loop. Normally, you enter the interview loop with a recruiter phone screen. Some companies may put an online SQL challenge before you can talk to the recruiter. After chatting with the recruiter, also depending on the company, you may have a take-home assignment. It's not likely you will get any SQL question in this round. But in the next round, the technical phone screen, very likely you will get SQL questions. Once you enter the on-site interview, you will have at least one round of SQL interview. Now we know when SQL questions will be asked. Let's talk about what you could expect in a SQL interview. During the interview, there will be more than one SQL questions and it always starts with a simple question, then move to more advanced ones. I'll show you a few examples in a minute. When you answer these questions, the interviewer may ask you some related questions to assess your level of proficiency, such as what are the differences between various window functions? Why you choose a certain type of join versus the other ones? I'm going to provide some real SQL questions to give you a sense of what you could expect in a real interview. You could find five questions on gameplay analysis on lead code, ranging from easy to hard level. Let's take a quick look at the first and last questions just to compare the level of difficulty. For the first question, it provides an activity table with four columns, player ID, device ID, event date, and games played. Player ID event date is the primary key of the table. The table shows the activity of players of some game. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games before logging out on some day using some device. The question asks you to write a SQL query that reports the first login date for each player. It also has a result format in the description, but in real interviews, it may not be provided. For this question, we just need a simple group by to get the result. The fifth question is on the same table. We define the install date of a player to be the first login date of that player. We also define day one retention of some date X to be the number of players whose install date is X and they log back in on the day right after X divided by the number of players whose install date is X. 
rounded to two decimal places. It asks you to write a SQL query that reports for each install date the number of players that installed the game on that day and the day one retention. For this question, we might need to create some subqueries in order to solve it. And here's one possible solution to the question. You could see the increase of level of difficulty from the first question to the fifth one. These are the kind of questions you could expect in a real SQL interview. It starts with the simple question and moves to the more difficult ones. There are a couple of aspects that an interviewer is looking for during a SQL interview. First of all, logical reasoning. When you answer a SQL question, the interviewer will evaluate whether you are able to make logical connections between the data table and the answer. You need to describe what columns are needed for the query and how you would write a query to solve the problem. Second, communication. The effectiveness of your communication matters. Before dive into coding, you want to clearly communicate your thought process. When the interviewer stops you and asks questions, you need to explain the reasoning of your choice. Third, code quality. The interviewer will judge your code quality based on one, whether the code is executable without any syntax error. Two, if your code is clean and concise. Three, whether you considered edge cases. Four, whether your solution is optimized in terms of efficiency. For example, you could get the same result using one join or using three joins. The answer with one join is more optimized. Lastly, proficiency. As I mentioned earlier, there will be multiple questions in a SQL interview, so your speed to crack them is also important. Being able to solve more questions within a limited amount of time demonstrates your proficiency of SQL. After the interview, the interviewer will grade you based on your performance. Usually, there are four levels of grading from negative to positive. Starting from the most negative side, strong no. This means the candidate did not solve any problem at all, even with hints. If you know how to write SQL queries, it's not likely for you to get this score. Next up, we have weak no. At this level, candidates may come up with workable solutions but they require a lot of hints during the interview. Or the candidate did come up with the solutions, but the code quality is poor due to syntax errors or low efficiency. Lots of candidates fail at this level. They know SQL, but not proficient enough. They just need more practice. Moving on, we have weak yes. At this level, candidates have strong SQL skills. They are able to come up with solutions with little or no hint. They're able to write high quality and efficient SQL queries. However, they may not be fast enough to solve all the questions within the time of the interview. This leads to the final level, strong yes. On this level, candidates have advanced SQL skills and they know every bit of detail by heart. They are able to solve all the problems with high quality code. The solutions are able to cover most of the corner cases and there's little room for the interviewer to nitpick. In one of my SQL interviews, I was told by the interviewer that nobody solved all the SQL questions he had in hand, and I was the first person did it. There is no secret other than practice. So how to prepare for the SQL interview? If you are a beginner or you know SQL but haven't used it for some time, you want to brush up the basic knowledge. At a minimum, you should be familiar with these concepts. Filter, join, group by, where, having, case statement, and window functions. I recommend two sites to study them, W3Schools and Mode Analytics. Both are free and have exercises to deepen your understanding on these concepts. Once you get the basics, you could start solving the SQL problems using the online practice sites. I recommend two sites for you, HackRank and LeetCode. Both have clear categorization of the difficulty level of questions. 
HackerRank is free, but it only requires subscription to see all questions. You can also do mock interview by yourself. Set a timer to solve real SQL interview questions. For each question, typically five minutes for an easy one, ten minutes for a medium, and fifteen minutes for a hard question. Finally, here are some tips to ace the SQL interview. Before writing your answer, make sure to ask clarification questions. For example, what are the primary keys of the table if you are not giving? What is the format of a timestamp column? And clarify the format of the result with the interviewer. Another tip is to talk through your thought process out loud. Remember, you will be evaluated based on logical reasoning and communication. If you get stuck when writing the code, don't be nervous or frustrated. Instead of being silent, it's better to ask the interviewer for some help. As we have mentioned in the rubrics, it's possible to pass the interview if you get some help from the interviewer. In fact, the interviewer will be happy to help you pass the interview. Lastly, don't rush. As I mentioned earlier, there will be multiple questions in a SQL interview. But I do not want you to rush through all the problems. It's better to slow down to pay attention to all the details for each problem. For example, try to catch as many edge cases as possible. Again, you will be fine even if you don't solve all the problems. So there you go. Those are all the things you need to know for a SQL interview if you want to get hired as a data scientist. Hopefully, it helps. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your data scientist friends. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.